Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Daniel here. In the past week, there were two major announcements in the world of drones. One came from Unique and the other one from Skydio. So I want to review today uh, or give you an overview of these uh, two new drones. And a few weeks ago, Hobson made also the announcement that they would uh, upgrade the Xeno uh, for the Xeno Pro which is an amazing drone in my opinion for the price. So let's have a look at these uh, three new drones. First, let's talk about the uh, Unique Typhoon H3. I just want here to focus on the main uh, features of the new drone. Um, it is a six rotor uh, drone, as you can see, it's an exact copter. Um, it has an automatic activation mode where if you lose a motor, or a electronic speed control, it will activate the five rotor mode and will come back to your uh, point of departure, which is an amazing uh, safety feature versus a uh, quadcopter. As you know, if you lose a motor on a quad, you just crash. They also say that there is a data security. So apparently there is no cloud access. So the data only goes between the drone and the controller. So they push a lot that uh, security and we know why with what's happening with uh, DJI these days. You have a two operator mode with a second remote control, which is very cool. The arms can be folded for transportation. You can also raise the landing gear. So you have a full 360 uh, view uh, from the camera without having any uh, landing gears in the, uh, in the in sight. You have 25 minute flight time and you have a cruise control feature. I mentioned that because I wish I had that on my Phantom 4 Pro because sometimes I would just like to let the, the, uh, the stick on the controller and just focus on the camera. So that is a cool feature. Now, the main thing about this new H3 drone is the Leica uh, camera. Uh, Leica is a well-known uh, German uh, company just like a Hasselblad that was acquired by uh, DJI, by the way. And you probably know that the new Mavic 2 Pro has a Hasselblad camera. So Leica, high-end camera equipment. So um, this is a major upgrade to the Typhoon. So it's a 4K 60 frame per second. Uh, it's a one-inch sensor. Uh, this is again major. Uh, you get uh, amazing resolution with a one inch sensor versus smaller sensors. Uh, 20 megapixel and it has wide dynamic range. Uh, Unique calls that WDR. Now the controller is the ST16S. Uh, I could not find an image of it. Uh, even the Unique website does not have an updated picture, but I have here a picture of the ST16. I'm guessing the S is probably just like an upgraded in terms of maybe features or software. Um, as you can see, it is a big controller. Just to give you an idea of the scale, the touch screen display in the center is seven inch or 18 centimeters. So it's a big controller easy to hold, uh, which I like. I don't like the small controllers, by the way, of the Mavic. Uh, I like the one I have on my Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, the range is 1.6 kilometers for image transmission. That is a little, uh, a little um, weak. Uh, that's one mile. So that's one area where the drone could be upgraded, in my opinion. So finally, pricing. Uh, this is a 2000 $200 drone, uh, US dollars, so it's not cheap, uh, but inc it includes two batteries, and really, it is still much cheaper than a uh, DJI um, Inspire, for example. So this is it for the uh, unique Typhoon H3. Now let's talk about the Skydio 2, which is a major improvement from the first drone that uh, Skydio designed about a year ago. Uh, as you can see on the picture, it's a non-foldable drone. So unlike the Mavic, this frame is extremely sturdy. Um, I think it's a nice design, actually. It has a three-axis gimbal, 20 minutes uh, flight time. They say it's 50% quieter than their first drone, which is kind of amazing. It's a 4K 60 frames per second HDR, uh, 12 megapixel photos. It, it has an NVIDIA control chip. 
They say on their website, the most advanced flying AI on the planet. And that's because it has six 200 degrees color cameras all around the drone, up and also down. As you can see here on the picture, we can see three cameras at the top of the drone. So because of that, they say that it's uh, amazing in, in terms of tracking. Um, you can look on their website and they show like a guy going in the forest on the quad or a um, on the motorcycle or a bicycle and the drone is going between trees and under trees which is uh, amazing what is also special about the skydio is that you can control it with a phone only and it has a range of 200 meters or if you buy the controller the range will go to 3.5 kilometers that's about two miles or you cannot buy also the beacon they call the Skydio Beacon, range of 1.5 kilometers or one mile. It has a GPS tracking and it looks like a TV remote. So for people who don't want to use a controller or don't feel comfortable using a controller, you can just use the Beacon, sorry, the Beacon. And the Beacon uh, will allow the drone to follow you by GPS, even if the drone does not see you. It's made in the USA. That's also a big change from other drones. And now in terms of pricing, this drone is $1,000 US dollars. That does not include the controller or the beacon. These two are $150 each. And um, actually, if you look at the websites now, the Sky, uh, Skydio website, you can book your drone for a, with a deposit of $100 but as of today, uh, the day I uploaded this video, it is sold out. Uh, apparently, they sold out in the first day this was available on their website. So now it's sold out for delivery in 2019. You'll have to wait in 2020 to get uh, this drone. So quite a, um, quite a different design. And also, this may give a real competition to uh, DJI. Last but not least, as we say, the Hobson uh, Zeno Pro. I think we pronounce Zeno. I don't think it's Zino. Uh, the Zeno Pro is an upgraded uh, Zeno, and that's mainly for the flight range, as we will see in a few uh, seconds. So as you can see, it's a foldable drone. Uh, it's, it has a three-axis gimbal. It's 4K, but 30 frames per second, not 60. And again, because of pricing, I'll talk about that at the end. It has a one-third inch sony sensor it's a good sensor but it's one third of an inch it's not one inch or one over 2.3 23 minutes flight time uh, it has a 4k image transmission the original xeno had one kilometers this has four kilometers uh, it has a slot for macro sd card um, interestingly enough you can fit in the filters on a low-cost drone like this which is very good and I thought I would mention also it has brushless motors for the price. They're not brushed motors. So this is also impressive. The uh, price is $450 US. Yes, 450. And you get the 4K drone, three axis gimbal, and everything I mentioned. And you get two batteries and a storage bag for $450. If you go to the Hubsan website, it is sold out as the uploading date of this video but i checked on uh, at uh, i mean on gearbest and banggood websites and they are available um it is uh they don't say though when they would deliver uh because it's a new drone but the Z the xeno is available but the xeno pro unknown exactly when uh, they will be able to uh, to ship so this is the last of the three drones that i wanted to uh, cover today so uh, this is it guys uh, three new drones major news in my opinion they're not coming from dji to start with uh, so that will give us more options at different different price uh, ranges so i hope you uh, like this little uh, review let me know in the comments below what you think of these new uh, three uh, drones and uh, thank you for watching have a great day goodbye guys